Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna test Emma's Goodies 50 calorie donuts and show you how to make DIY donut molds. To start, I followed her recipe by combining an egg, sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg and whipping it until it tripled in size. In her video, it seems to triple pretty quickly, but after 10 minutes, mine still looked like this, so I just kept it and kept going with the recipe. Next, I added the Greek yogurt, mixed that in, and then added the flour and baking soda. And I linked Emma's Goodies full recipe down below so you could check it out for exact quantities. Obviously, I didn't end up with as much better as Emma did in her video because I somehow messed up while whipping the eggs, but I kept going with it anyway to see if it would taste good even if the texture was off because of that misstep. Now, let me show you how to make these DIY donut molds. All you need is to take a small piece of tin foil, I'm using the excess of a previous mold I made, and you want to roll it up into mini cylinder shape. Then you want to rip a medium sized piece of tin foil and wrap it around the center of your tin foil cylinder. Next, you want to place this into a cupcake tin and press it into the mold, then cut off the excess tin foil and use it as the center of your next donut mold. Once I made all of my donut molds, I spray them thoroughly, making sure to get around that center cylinder, and I poured the batter in and then baked them at 320 degrees until they were fully baked. Then after they've cooled for a few minutes but are still warm, you want to carefully take them out of your mold and if they do start to break, let them cool for a few more minutes. You want to quickly roll them in some cinnamon and sugar. And now for the taste test, they were actually really good. The texture was clearly off from a fluffy donut, but that was definitely my fault. And they tasted a lot more like a churro in texture than a donut, but for a churro, they were very delicious. And especially being only 50 calories, I would definitely make these again. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any other recipes you want to see me try out, leave a comment down below or DM me on my Instagram at the thedaprickery.